Uh, let's see. What else do I got for you guys today? Oh, 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 oh. We have to get into this. Um, now that's the long one. I have to give you the short one first. Okay, so here's the short version of this. Where did I go? Ah, perfect. Perfect. What it is. My number one thing. Somebody asked, do you guys know why you're single? And I'll speak for myself. I know exactly why I'm single because I've never dated a guy <laughs> that I got would have approved for me. Not to say, let me clarify and say that I've actually only dated great men <laughs> and a great picker. I've only dated really wonderful guys, good people to their core, obviously not perfect and clearly not for me. Then why are you not married? Because we would be together if that was the case, but like good, good people but never somebody who's further along in their faith than I am. Yeah. <laughs> you want to talk about the session? You want to talk about cope? There is no greater cope than the trad con girl who's still waiting for that dude ordained by the heavens above to, you know, shine down and arrive on the doorstep, man. And by the way, her story is very common. I remember listening and reading about, almost identical stories in the Dal Rock days back in like 2013, 2014. Yeah. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that the person God has for me is like so far along in their faith than Come I am. Now. And I have such a desire, like a true a yearning to be led spiritually. I this is like the, this is you, you can't argue against. I hate that you, it's like, you can't argue against. It's like unassailable. Because if I say, if I tell you right now that this chick is using God as her cope, she's using God to like reinforce her ego. Oh, I don't understand why guys don't want to be, but it's like Lolo Jones. You guys remember the Lolo Jones story? Lolo Jones uh, was it Olympic track Lolo Jones. I think she also did like pop sledding too. Um, was dedicated her life to the Lord. I'm not saying, hey, if that's your conviction. And you know what? I'll tell you this. She is convicted because she supposedly still is a virgin. And to the point now where she's, almost, I think she was 39 years old, just about to be 40, puts out these tearful TikTok videos of her having to go and freeze her eggs because the Lord still hasn't brought her the man that she's supposed to be with. I point that out and I am the devil. Right? I am. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Yes. But if I point out in nuts and bolts and no uncertain terms, the reason why you're single is because of your cope, <laughs> because of your ego protection and your ego investments in all of this. And you get to be I, I, there was I don't know, I think it was Beth Moore with somebody else back in the day. Uh, forget the lady's name, but uh, Dalrock made an example of this one, like very religious, like evangelical religious girl or one woman, I should say, who was something like 54, 55 years old. She's well past like menopause and still hopeful and waiting for her, you know, knight in shining armor, the perfect guy for her that the preordained by the Lord. And then you have to go and you look at someone like, uh, was it? Uh, is it Ciara? Is that her name? Yeah, Ciara, who was married to Russell Wilson, quarterback for, well, used to be quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks, now the Denver Broncos. Um, and then you listen to her talk about, like, cause she, she'd had a, what did she had a baby with? Was it Future that she had a baby with? I think it was Future that she had a baby with. And uh, then she got with Russell, and they're supposed to be these really, you know, evangelical, you know, turn or burn Christians. And yet she's still like selling rum with her titties hanging out and she's hanging out and just like, I'm just, it's just amazing to me that she uses the same language and the same cope that this girl is right now who doesn't have a guy. Just want to sit and look up at a man talking to me about theology and I'll be so happy. You know what I mean? And so I, there's always been, unfortunately, not in like no, an insulting way, but there's like a, there's a level of respect that I'll have for the person that I'm with when that's the case. And I've never experienced that. Yeah. I wonder why. <laughs> Could it be that it's not that you can't find that dude? I'm sure there's, by the way, why is it that every time a woman talks about like, oh, why are you single? Well, let me tell you, blah, 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 blah. When you ask women about that, or you ask them anything like red pill, just off, like they might not have any like clue what the red pill is. But if you, it's like Garrett Gaines or John from It's Complicated, we'll go ask these uninitiated people about it. Women will almost automatically 
turn any opportunity that looks like they're on, you know, social media or something into a dating profile. And that's exactly what she's doing here is the whole, the whole interview is a dating profile. Why are you single? Well, I got to find the guy who's going to turn me on by quoting scripture and, and theology. And I just haven't met that guy yet. And I'm just, you know, I know that I'm just going to look up to him and he's going to talk about theology and I'm just going to get wet in the panties. No, you're not. Because that's not what turns you on. You know what turns you on? Guys that look like Jack Reacher. I want a guy who looks just like Alan Richson, who quotes the Bible. And he probably would because he's very religious, right? But that's what they're, that's what she's holding up. I would love to put those two together. I wish I could. She's a good looking girl. Why not? Jack or Jack Allen. Why not get with that girl? 